Hey, thanks for joining in again. So just a few minutes ago, I opened the second box of the Papago S780 dash cam. I just finished the install on my 2017 Ford Escape right there. And I'm about to install the second one now on my 2018 Ford Mustang. Uh, before I usually mount anything or do any of the wires around the dash, I always like to plug it in first. Just so I can have the view of uh, the lens and see exactly where it's pointing before I choose the position that I'm, I like the most. Uh, for this case, I chose to put it right here. So first thing you're gonna do is just push it, give it some pressure, and then pull the spin up, and that should lock it in position. After that, it's pretty much just hiding all the wires, and I will do a video of that as well in just a few moments. So I just finished installing the Papago S780 on the uh, Ford Escape right there. I started the Mustang not too long ago, but for now I just have the front facing camera installed. For the rear one I have to wait until my tents in the back are done. Once the tents are done I will be installing and doing the video of this one as well. Uh, just like the Escape, all the wires are hidden around the dash, down the pillar, through the dash itself and down here right into the charger. Once again, this tool comes in really handy. I just used it to push the wire in. In most cases, it just slides right in. Uh, like I said, really good camera. Simple to install, simple to use. Really good quality, both for the front and back. Uh, one feature I really like about this, if you're driving a lot during the night and you don't want the screen to be on, you can just push OK right here, which turns off the screen, but it still records. It doesn't stop the recording. Uh, if you want to view it again, you just simply push OK. If you want to watch any of the videos, you just go right here and the button to the right of it is all the settings you have.